I dropped Ines to school. Uh, I came back quickly to get ready. I have um, a lot of the meetings today. I thought it could be a good time to talk about that kind of uh, energy sometimes we all are and what do I do with makeup to make me feel a certain way. So for example, today I feel a bit like cozy. I wish I didn't have any Zoom meeting or I wish I could like just, you know, wear comfy clothes and hide in my little bubble. But today's the kind of day where I have to really sell some ideas and, and, and really go strong for my meetings. So the one thing I do when that happens to me is that I will do red lipstick. I feel like there's such power and energy wearing a red lipstick that I can really feel it. And, um, and the idea is not to send an image to somebody, to send an image of strength and power. I don't, I don't care about that, it's more what I feel. And so I really use makeup as a way to not play with my mood, but really enhance my mood, I will say. So I know that while I'm gonna apply the lipstick, I'm gonna get out of my cocoon and like bloom into this like powerful, inspired person. These are all my favorite reds. And for red, usually I do the same kind of makeup. So I'm gonna show you, I'll start with a little bit of my skin and my eyes, and then we'll do red. And I talk about how to pick up your red. Okay, so let's start with complexion. I don't have anything right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation. I like right now to put foundation when I do red lipstick by touches and not everywhere because it even my skin tone a bit. So for example, this is around the lips and under the eye because that's where I have shadows. I'm gonna pat it in sort of a large patch so it's gonna plum and highlight my face. I've been like foundation free and doing almost no makeup for a few weeks to let my skin breathe. I mean, I never really put any makeup on my skin. So when you wear a red lipstick, it's really very important that you brighten and even the skin tone around the lips because I've noticed uh, on me, I get to be darker because you can see my veins, but on some people that are very, very light skin, for example, it can even be stained, like yellowish. Um, and this is really not gonna be nice looking with a, with a red lipstick. So it's really helpful to just smooth, and I'm not smooth, but like even out the skin tone in that area. But also when you have a dark skin sometimes, you can have a darker pigmentation around the lips. So having a bit of brightness around is really gonna make the lip pop and that's gonna be very nice. I don't like to have eye makeup when I do um, red lipstick because that, for me it's too much. So I wanna make sure that I'm not erasing my features with the foundation. So I'm a little bit, it's not that I'm darker under my eye, it's just that I don't really know what it is. I feel like I'm a bit more, I don't know how you say English. A bit plus creuse, and therefore it brings a bit of shadows. So what I do is I can add a tiny bit more of the foundation wherever it's a little bit more dark and pat it into the skin. So I don't bake. And a lot of you ask me, is that a problem? Does it make your foundation crease? Uh, it doesn't because I have a very dry skin. So it's settled pretty well and if I add powder I'm gonna look like dry like a prune and all wrinkled so I'm not doing this. I feel like if you have an oily skin that might be different you might want to be using a powder but for dry skin. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 
she wants her breakfast. We, I'm coming, can I put makeup on? That's why I'm always uh, like saying, do your own technique, try a few things, get inspired by people, learn with people, but then really, if, if it doesn't work, it's not like you're doing something wrong, it's maybe because that's not the right technique for you. And for me, baking is definitely not a good one. Because even though people are gonna see me on the Zoom and not in real, I don't wanna look like like I have a mask of makeup. I really never look this kind of look. For the lipstick, this is what I do always. And then I like to have uh, a little bit of darkness into my lash line to make also my eye pop. So I don't do anything on the top because that's the way it looks like I have makeup on, but to color the lash line and then put mascara on, when you close your eyes, you don't see anything on the top. But when you open your eyes, there is some like light. So if you have a lot of lashes and you have very dark lashes, maybe you don't need this. But for me, I don't have a lot of lashes and it's pretty light colored. So like, why am I brunette and I have like blonde lashes? <laughs> Just mother nature. Um, I like to do this to color my lash line. So I'm really gonna go between the roots. So to be honest with you, it's much easier if I'm in front of my mirror and I just like lift and color like this. But because I'm here in my bedroom showing you makeup, I can't really do it. So this is how it looks like. And so I close my eyes, there's nothing on top, but I open, you see some like darkness. And what I like to do is because my eyes are a bit going down, which I don't mind, but I still like to add a little cat eye in the corner to lift up my eyes a tiny bit. So I just color here and then I will pull with my nail. So we do the other eye. Honestly, much easier when you're in front of your bathroom. I did a mini video showing exactly how to do this. Can you hear a dim sum purring? She likes when I talk next to her. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so this is done. Then we're gonna apply mascara. So this one is pretty natural, um, you'll see it's not a lot of cream that comes out. I mean, I don't want my eyes to be too done. So between the pencil that I just did and this like sort of natural mascara, it will be a nice balance. Okay, so top, bottom, looks like this. So it's like a healthy, I mean I say healthy, it doesn't mean anything, but like a nice looking lash. Natural, not healthy, that's what I meant. Okay, other eye. So some people are like, why don't you put your bangs up to apply your mascara? Well, when you have wavy hair and you have bangs, if you put your hair up, my bangs is gonna be destroyed for days, like for my whole day. So I'm really just getting really skilled at how to apply mascara without putting it on my hair. So I don't look crazy with the crazy bangs after. Sometimes it's funny when you see comments, you're like, well, if I don't do it, it's because obviously that works for me. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> Good. Now we're gonna do blush. I actually really like this lipstick as a blush. It's from Honest Beauty. I discovered Honest when I moved to the US and I had my baby. And I, I really like their product for skincare, for baby care and for makeup. I like how the formula are simple, but actually pretty nice. I'm probably gonna add more blush after my makeup is done, but I start like this. So these are my favorite reds. Oh, I have a bit of highlighter. I'm gonna do this here. Add. and a bit on the cupid's bow. Okay, today, do I want a dark red? Do I want a bright red? I think I'm gonna go with a fancy one. This one is a very vibrant one, pretty luminous. So I like to start with a V, like this. I mean, to be honest, this applicator for me is not it's not, it's not my favorite. It's, it's, I think it's not really easy to apply it with this. Uh, I'll do a V and then I'll just go from the outside corner and meet the top of my V. Okay, 
like that. And the reason why I do a V is because I always do the V a bit above my own natural pigmentation because when you do red lipstick it has a tendency to make your lips shrink a little bit and being smaller. So the reason I start with a V is because I go a little bit above my pigmentation because when you have red lipstick I feel like it's shrinking the lips which is just an optical illusion um, because it's darker and more bold you make the impression that the lips are smaller. So even me I have pretty big lips. I still do it the V a little bit above so when I meet the corner with my top of my V, it's, I'm naturally gonna, um, how do you say, I'm gonna paint my lips a little bit above. So my upper lips is gonna be a tiny bit more big. So where are you like, where do I stop? Well, it really depends on your morphology and you, you should really, I'll talk about more, but you should really discover your face and understand your face. But for me personally, what works is if I do really just up the pigmentation, really just above. Um, so when that's done, I'm just gonna uh, color it all and then I'm gonna perfect it. So to perfect it, you close your mouth. Voila. Okay, for the bottom lip, now I'm gonna close my mouth and I'm gonna design whatever shape is nice with my upper lip. Okay, so what I do is that I start here and then for me, my pigmentation is a little bit more straight so I make it a bit more round, uh, so I balance my features better. And then I look everywhere. And I see that here it's a bit too below, too down. That's it, so if I had to follow my own lip shape, my bottom lip will, go, will look a bit too uh, flat and straight, too much with the top lip. That's why it's very important that when you apply your red lipstick, you really close your mouth to design the shape and then you can color. And then again, when it's done, you look at yourself again, very straight in the mirror with your mouth closed to see how it looks like. I like to massage here to have a bit less, just bring a little luminosity. Uh, so like I said, I will add a bit more blush because of the red now. So I'm gonna add it here. What up? That's it. So I have many techniques. I love to do an ombre. I love to massage the edge of the lips to make it more French kiss. Like I said, they feel like it, I feel like it brings uh, some sort of romanticism and softness and tenderness to a very bold red lipstick. But today I, I want something a bit uh, fatal, femme fatale, which I don't know really what it means in English. Maybe like empowered, sort of empowered feeling. Um, so that's why I want to keep it very graphic. And, um, and I really, I don't know, I feel like my lips are dressed up. Um, it gives me some sort of, um, it's not, I'm not self-conscious of my makeup, I'm gonna forget about it, but somehow to feel a little bit of the lipstick on my lips, it gives me some sort of, you know, it's like when you wear a beautiful outfit that kind of like, you feel it, it gives you a structure. I feel like it gives me some sort of a strength for today. So I hope, uh, also, you guys will dare to wear red lipstick. Um, yeah, you really know. You really have to know that every woman, every man, everybody can wear red lipstick. A lot of time when I did master classes, my favorite thing is to then go meet with you guys. And I met so many women who told me, oh, I love a red lips, but I have rosacea, I have this problem, I have acne, I can't wear red lipstick. And and then I, I'm like, you know what, let me just show you. And every time it's such a wow moment for people because they're like, why did I think you will not fit me? Everyone can wear red lipstick. It depends on what kind of undertone you're gonna get, you're gonna use, you're gonna have in your lipstick that you pick and also how you do makeup on your skin. So that's something later this year, I will actually, once, once we can, see other people kind of show you on different skin tone, on different skin issues, on different hair color, like how we can, how I can help you find your red. But honestly, usually if you have a red that has a little blue, a little bit of yellow together, um, and it's not too bright, it can actually fit everyone. But we'll talk about this magic red, this perfect red later. So anyway, um, just don't be scared of red. Red can fit you. Red can give you power. Uh, we're gonna find out this year how you can wear it, why everybody can wear red. 
and I invite you guys to really use makeup as I always say as a way to make you feel amazing as a, as a way to um, make you feel empowered and inspired and not something that makes you feel like you need makeup in order to be beautiful because we're born perfect and makeup is just a tool to play with your mood and um, your senses almost so anyway I'm gonna go back to work and also we have some cool video coming next week about skincare. I haven't shared about skincare forever and there is a reason why, but we'll talk about it more. So make sure you also subscribe to my newsletter. We launch a newsletter every week where we talk a little bit more in depth about certain, certain things and every group of content we've been shooting all week. Um, it's really fun and uh, thank you for those who send me back some very uh, cute messages. It makes me so happy that you're really expecting this newsletter every week. Um, so it comes out every new Sunday. Um, so if you subscribe on JulietteFR.com, uh, you won't have it before Sunday, it's normal. So thank you so much guys for watching and I can't wait to see you next week for some very new content.